In this video tutorial, we're going to look at how to do satellite tracking using EQMOD software. First thing I'm going to talk about, though, is a thing called a satellite tracker, which isn't uh, developed by the EQMOD group, uh, but has been developed independently, uh, and is also shareware. Now, this is an application designed specifically for sat uh, tracking satellites, and it can interface to a number of different telescope sites uh, types. Unfortunately, ASCOM isn't in the list. Um, so, in order to use ASCOM, we have to use another application, uh, which is written by the EQMOD group, which is called EQMOD LX. Now, the I should show you the way we have this configured is actually to use the Mead LX200 GPS type telescope connection. Uh, what we then do is use a virtual serial port. I'll start that up. Um, and what this does is it creates a COM port. You give it a COM port number to create. Uh, it then, anything that is transmitted or received on that COM port is actually. Uh, mapped to an IP address and port number. So if I create that now, this is now creating a COM5 on my system. So messages from Satellite Tracker are now going out to, or when I press connect, will go out to COM port 5. I then run uh, EQMOD LX, which has another setup screen where we specify the port number this matches the one that I had in my uh, virtual serial port so anything that's going out on that port will be received by this application uh, and we need to connect this to our telescope simulator in this case Now, having done all of that, uh, we can now connect pressing this button. As you can see, it's it thinks it's connected. It thinks it's talking to a Mead LX200 type uh, telescope, um, but it isn't. It's it's talking out through a COM port, uh, which is actually being mapped to EcoMod LX, which is now converting all of those LX200 commands into ASCOM type commands. Okay, the other thing I should say is within Satellite Tracker you, you put your um, location, so you need to put in your latitude and longitude. Obviously this needs to match uh, the latitude and longitude that you have set up in uh, EQSCOM. Right, I'm now going to start up a planetarium. And I'm going to connect to our telescope so we can see satellite tracker in action. Okay. The other thing to say is the tracking method we use is continuous, which means it makes continuous adjustments to the position. Uh, this is at the ASCOM level this is achieved by um, tracking rate changes and uh, actual pulse guiding. Okay, so now all we need to do is, is pick a satellite. Uh, there are various filters you can put on here. Uh, I'm going to look for things that are above 41 degrees, um, that are of a medium altitude, and you can specify a direction as well. Um, and once you've done that, you click this Refresh List button here. Currently there are five that meet that. Um, so I pick one. I can have a look at the trajectory of that satellite. That's quite a good one, currently going through Hercules. Um, no, I'll leave that up actually so we can we can compare that with the uh, planetarium. And then we just say start tracking. Stop. To now what's happening now is the telescope is being moved or the mount is being moved to intercept the satellite. So we're not actually not actually tracking at this point, we're simply moving to a point where we intercept the satellite. Once these bars hit the end here, um, we'll then start tracking the satellite. And here we go. So 
if I move that out of the way and bring in the sky view obviously it's twisted around a bit but hopefully you can see that the location of where the satellite currently is is indeed what we're seeing in the planetarium which is showing us where our mount is, 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 is pointing I'll just let that run on for a little bit so you can uh, see that it is indeed tracking. Now one thing we should say, uh, obviously satellites move at, at a fair old lick. Um, so your mount is, you may hear all sorts of weird noises coming out of the motors. We're using them at, at, at speeds that you wouldn't normally track at. Um, but that said, uh, it does work, and uh, you know pe people are, are able to home in on, on satellites quite successfully. Um, some of the faster moving ones, there will be problems. There are we do have a maximum rate that we can move at, um, which is 800 times sidereal. Um, if the sa satellite's moving faster than that, we're not going to be able to track it. And hopefully, you can see that this position here is the same as, as, as shown by the satellite tracker. OK, just bringing back EQMOD LX into the system. Um, there are some other uh, controls we put on here to allow um, fine uh, adjustment. Um, this works by pulse guiding. There's a guide indicator here which tells you which way uh, we're currently moving. So we're currently moving southeast. supposedly in terms of guiding um, but that's it that's that that's how you would go about satellite tracking and uh, I'll see if I can put up links on the uh, YouTube site to for the uh, virtual serial port and the satellite tracker uh, application okay that concludes this demonstration